Thomas Ruff is one of the most important artists working with photography today. He began his career using a camera, making portraits of people, pictures of street scenes, and produced some very important large-scale photographs which changed the nature of art photography. But he wasn't content with that. He wanted to question the very nature of the medium and look at the work of other photographers and try and creatively appropriate the photographs in his own practice. The V&A wanted to commission him to produce a new body of work using the historic photography collection as inspiration. He was particularly taken by the negatives of Linnaeus Tripe, a British army captain who was one of the first photographers to survey the landscapes and buildings of India and Burma, now Myanmar, and made beautiful photographs of those places. Tripe chose to use paper negatives, the first kind of photographic negatives that were invented. It was those paper negatives that Thomas Ruff became most interested in using to create new works from. Working with a collection of the V&A is very special. The first thing I asked was, can I have a look at paper negatives? Can I have a look at linear stripe? And what you then put on the desk was four boxes of paper negatives. <laughs> and that was really incredible. I'm very interested in the history of practicing photography. I think in the very beginning, the photographer had to solve a lot of different problems. Papers, chemicals, printing techniques. They had to have knowledge. I've never thought about a paper negative. I'm really surprised, astonished and fascinated how they made such beautiful photographs. I produced a lot of negatives, but I never looked at the negative for itself. Linnaeus Tribe took his photographs and he made his printing in the 1860s and would only print the photograph in the size of the negative. Those negatives have a pictorial quality that is really incredible. Nearly 160 years of time passed. Those negatives aged. The aging process of the paper, the chemicals, the mold, these are all issues we are discussing right now. Looking at these negatives on the light box in the reading room, I took kind of a snapshot with my mobile phone. When I went back to Düsseldorf, I worked on these kind of low-resolution photographs, inverting the negative into a positive, combining the existing colors of the negative, and then developed the idea of what would happen if I enlarge the negatives to a scale where you can see the structure of the paper negatives. There's this kind of fairy tale of authenticity of this kind of straightforward photography. Linnaeus Tribe wanted to have clouds on his photographs, but when he took those photographs in India, there were no clouds. By aquarelling, he painted clouds. It's a kind of retouchment that also has a big tradition in photography. These clouds make his prints very special. A lot of things are forgotten by not showing them. Making them visible is extremely interesting for me. Photography always was used as a new kind of tool by the scientists trying to understand the world. Every photograph is a statement. I would call it a scientific statement. And like a scientist, I have to prove if my statement is right. A statement cannot be proved with one photograph. Probably that's one of the reasons for working in series. Maybe it's just that I want to try to understand the world. <laughs> and I want to find out how photography works. I hope there's much more to be discovered. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs>